everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we got some brand new stuff that you may want to pair with your action figures, as well as the brand new WWE Fan Takeover, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. You guys know that we reviewed this full set. We ended up not getting the full wave in Steamboat. Like we reviewed Adam Cole, Seth Rollins, Shayna Baszler. We did not get Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, so we're going to do a quick little review of him. And also, we're going to take a look at these official Wacky Packages minis, and you guys will see what that is they're like 3D printed little miniatures that you can put with your figures. Kind of like some backstage area accessories, things of that nature. They can really bring your setup to life, your catering area. There's a lot of good stuff in there. But before we get into these, or actually, let's just go ahead and dive into these first. Let's go ahead and dive into these first. What's really cool is they come, when I ordered them, they came in this little bag like I ordered some food right here, which is really cool. It says official Wacky Packages Mini. You got all this stuff going on. You got like a nice receipt. It's got like fake stains on it. Just really Really creative stuff. It also came in this little miniature bag. When I unpackaged it, I had no idea what the hell was going on. I thought somebody had left me to go play in a damn shipping container. I was very confused, but as you guys can see, it comes in like an aluminum foil, like food packaging, like leftover food. You know, when you cook Thanksgiving or whatever, you put your ingredients in here and you put it in the oven. This is what it comes in, and it has the official Wacky Packages Minis little topper on there. But when you open it, unfortunately, I went ahead and opened them up. But they do come in these little baggies right here, and it says Wacky Packages, little 3D puny product, little minis. And pretty much they're, they're like plays on words or puns. If you will of actual stuff and it's funny it comes with a fork it comes with a napkin I mean I was very confused I was like what the hell's going on at first but I want to showcase what I got so it comes in this little packaging right here it says wacky packages little minis 3d puny products I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to go check them out I don't know exactly if they have their own website or what the deal is but you guys can see instead of Kit Kat it's Zit Kat you got some Jerkins wild soap you got dead bull you got snots instead of dots. I mean, a lot of good stuff. Macaroni and, and geese. Cold fish. Chicken fat. Aqua flush. Some spinach. You got a bling pup. I mean, there, there's a lot of cool stuff going on in here. So... I think it actually has the full list on this little thing that they send you, so you guys can collect them all. There's a lot to collect, but the thing is, is not only are they kind of wacky and stuff, but they're supposed to be, like, real, you know, they're supposed to look like background things anyway, like they could use for accessories. So, let me show you guys what I got. So, I'm going to lower this down so you guys can see exactly what we got going on. So, the first thing that we got is this Hertz Pasty Tomato. It's like Heinz Tomato Paste or whatever you want to call this, so this could work in a kitchen area. It could work as a little box in the background. We also have our own Zit Cat. Now, this is pretty massive. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, if you put this in a figure's hand, like, this is Bobby Lashley right here. Like, this would have to be, like, the, you know, those king-sized ones that you guys can buy on, like, Easter and stuff. That is more of what that's like, but really feel, like, the products feel good in the hand. You guys can tell that they're very well made and everything like that, but Zit Cat is right there. You got the Heinz. We also have a loaf of bread. It says, Blunder Extra Heavy Bread Build Your Body Just By Lifting Package, and it's a, uh, thing of bread. So I thought that was pretty good. It's got a sticker on there, but it looks like a loaf of bread sitting there. That could work for something. And then we have two boxes of cereal. We have ticks, and we have Unlucky Charms. So that's just genius. They look really good as well. Like, if you you know, if you, if you turn them to the side as well, it, lo it would look like tricks and Lucky Charms. Like, nobody's gonna just be like, hey, that's not lucky. Those are Unlucky Charms. So they would work really good in, in like a background setup or some figure photography or stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in that, go check out Wacky Pack just minis. I'm going to order more. I think they're great, and uh, they're like mystery bags. I don't think you can actually pick them out, so, you know, you get the mystery bag, and then you can open them up, see what you got, and I think that is uh, pretty damn cool. So, huge shout out to them for sending that our way and getting the video in about these little wacky package minis. I think I'm going to order some more, so that's pretty cool. But not only do we have the wackage package minials, or miniatures, I'm going to go ahead and set up a table and uh, see what they look like. So, here's Matt Riddle, and you guys can see kind of what he looks like like here next to the boxes of cereal. They scale pretty damn perfect. I'd say they're 112 scale. Maybe the Zit Cat again or the Kit Kat is out of scale from a regular Kit Kat, but as far as the king size or the Easter size or the, you know, the special edition yard long Hershey bars that they sell during Halloween, during the Easter season, stuff like that, I think it works out pretty
pretty damn good. I can't wait to take some photos of those. That will be hilarious. So there is Matthew Riddle and our boxes of cereal and all of that BS. But now we have Ricky the Dragon Steamboat that I want to drive into, and I got to cut his ass out of the packaging. So for Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, guys, getting it out, I'm pretty sure this is the same head sculpt that we've gotten with Ricky the Dragon Steamboat for a while. Same re-released head sculpt. I really like the red headband and everything going on with it. I think the likeness to Dragon is pretty good. I've met him a couple times now, I do believe, at, at the Days of the Dead. I think it was the Days of the Dead con in Atlanta. If I'm not mistaken, that was the event name. Nonetheless, I love the formula they use for this guy. I think that his jacket or his, his gi or whatever you want to call this is really nice. It just ties in the front and then, of course, you can remove this. On the back, it does say the dragon. It's obviously in white is what I meant. I like the material that they use. I don't think I've ever really felt this kind of material. This kind of feels like the R-Truth shirt from like Elite 2, if you guys know what I'm talking about. RS there for Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, or Ricky Steamboat. White attire is always beautiful. White wrist tape. I love the formula that they use for Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, so this always excites me. He comes with, okay, that's weird. He comes with one fisted hand, one mic holding hand, and then he has his entrance hands like ricochet handshake hands, if you will. White tights, nothing on these tights. Like, legit, just pure white tights. He's got the red line at the bottom. On the side of his boots, he has this nice graphic going on, which looks really good. I like the colors that we got. I like the white boots. The black laces look really good. I feel like black outsoles would probably make it look a little bit better. This won the vote pretty much by far. The other... This Ricky the Dragon Steamboat actually beat out. This is from WrestleMania 3, where he defeated Macho Man Randy Savage for the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania 3, but this is WrestleMania 3. I'm pretty sure this is a re-release of the flashback Walmart exclusive figure that we got a few years ago, but that figure is super hard to come by. That whole series is hard to come by. That Build-A-Figure like GM HBK set with Stone Cold, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Harley Race, and there was one other figure, but I can't think of it right now. Nonetheless, it beat out WrestleMania 25. WrestleMania 25, which would have been like his, you know, like, I think that was the Hall of Fame induction, like the night after after his Hall of Fame induction, if I'm not mistaken. That one, that one only got 5% of the vote. Starcade 93 had 44, and then WrestleMania 3 got 51% of the vote, just about. Nice image of him there, uh, image of him there, image of him there, and image of him there. So just Ricky the Dragon all over the dragon spot. Other accessories include the Black Intercontinental Championship, and I also apologize that this isn't really a full-fledged review. This is kind of just winging it, you know? But I thought I was going to get some custom heads in today. They did not arrive, so hopefully they come in tomorrow. But the title looks really good. Inter Black Intercontinental Championship. You guys prefer the Black Intercontinental title or the White Intercontinental Championship? You can let me know down in the comment section below, but the title looks really good on Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. I'd like to have this title with the red uh, countries on it, or the red continents on it. Isn't that a thing? Wasn't that, like, wasn't that the championship or it looked like that? Like, it had the blue world and then the red continents on it? I, I like that version of it. If that doesn't exist, well, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat had one on display at the con every time, so I figured that 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 version does exist somewhere, and if it doesn't, I'm just going to paint one of mine because I thought it looked badass. It looks super badass. I'll pull up a picture on the screen if that's possible or what the, what the hell else is going on, but Ricky the Dragon looks good. I like the stuff going on. You got his black belt that goes around the entrance shirt as well that you do have to tie, and I'm not sure if you could, you know, pull this off and put this on some other figure. I think you can actually acetone this off. Not sure because this is cloth. I feel like it would just bleed into the shirt itself. I don't know, Brad. I, I don't make the rules. I just break them, and sometimes I just get over them, but most of the time we just break them around here. But anyways, guys, that is your Ricky the Dragon Steamboat figure. We had our little wacky package minis with Matt Riddle. Again, can't wait to take some photos with that. It's going to be hilarious. But anyways, guys, if you guys would like to pick up Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, you can do it on Amazon. It's a fan takeover exclusive. I think Series 2 also with Randy Orton, Johnny Gargano, all of that stuff is, uh, I think it went up for pre-order. I don't know if it's still there. You may want to go check it out. Also, AEW Series 4 is shipping, so if you guys pre-ordered it, it should be on its way right now, and uh, I think that's about going to do it. Let me go ahead and grab our random shout out. So for this shout out, guys, it is going to go to Dan the Man, who says this comment has something special going on there, young man. So I thought that was pretty good. You know what else has something special going on there, young man? Dan the Man, because he's a young man, and he's got a little something special going on. And you know who else has a little something special going on? The Unlucky Charms. Look at that young man. I don't think... He has a little something special going on, if you get what I'm saying. Don't cross a line! <laughs> uh.